Alright guys, what's up? Uh, just wanted to make this video on transferring into my car. As you can see it's right here, it's a little hard to see. But um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I made a couple of videos already on it, but I guess some people haven't seen it. Or I'm going to break it down to a little bit more detail. Basically uh, how I do it and uh, show you what's, I just found out the easiest way to do it for me. Um, I don't know what angle it should be from this way or from that way, but I'm going to have my phone set up on that thing. And I have it on the tripod so you can see how I transfer. Okay, so basically what I do is, I'll get off from my seat, I'll show you, but... And then I'm going to make a detail, a little bit more details on my driving levers. So what I do usually is I'll hop in, I'll put the chair right next to me, and the wheels in the back, and then the cushion in the back too. Uh, and then I put the seatbelt on there to keep the chair from, whenever I brake too hard, it'll crash into that. So I always put the seatbelt on there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, um, alright, so I'm just going to make that, I'm going to do a little transfer now. And, uh... That way you guys can see. So, hope y'all can hear me. It's kind of traffic time. Everybody's passing through here. But uh, if you brake, if you got brakes in your chair, so what I always do, I always lock my brakes. And I, right when I get close to the car, I always get at an angle, kind of like you know, like a 45 degree angle, just park your chair next to it. And the way I do it, I always toss my legs first. I put my leg inside. Depending on how strong my spasms are, I do it faster. But I toss my legs inside. And I always grab right here, like on the door panel. I pull myself forward. I always gotta fight my legs, so I always pull myself hard. And I always grab my steering wheel. Then, to get inside my, my Jeep, which is kind of lifted, what I do is, I put my hand on the cushion, I pull myself with my hand, as I pull myself forward, I pivot my body, just like a transfer onto the mattress, or to the bed. So, I just do that motion and I get right inside. I usually just count it or whatever, one, two, three, pull myself in. That's basically it. Once you get a little bit of strength and used to it, it shouldn't be too hard. Then, I position my legs, and then I take my chair apart. So, cushion comes out. Hopefully in my next chair I won't even have to do that. So I take my water out, I usually put it right in the water thing. I fold my seat. There it is. Very simple, fast. Once you get the practice of it, you can do it in less than two minutes. Um, that's basically it. Uh, same, same thing to do when you're getting out, just in reverse. So, just take the chair out. I gotta adjust my brakes. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't push the. I didn't put my rim all the way. So anyway, now I gotta fix my rim. Uh, I didn't put it all the way. This axle thing is broken, so it's not locking on. Make sure your rims are on, right? Otherwise, it'll come apart and you'll fall and you'll eat shit. So basically, it's back in the same form, same position as it was when I first started. You can adjust it whatever way you want. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'll get into the position. The same way I came in is the same way I come out. So I'll put my hand back on the on the cushion or the tire or whatever. It depends if you have your brakes on or not. So I used to put on the rim and the tire just to give me more a little more stability. So then I put my hand on the cushion of my, of my seat. 
and I just guide myself. That's pretty much it. You just, just put the motion. It's a lot easier coming down because the height of my car is actually letting me go come down with the momentum. So then I just pull my legs in, adjust the wedgies, and good to go. That's pretty much it. There goes my transferring video. Uh, sorry for the noise. Uh, I guess I'll try to edit that out a little bit, but I'm kind of talking. So let's see what, how, how bad the video looks. But um, I'll show you now my levers. All right, so these are my driving levers. I got a bunch of questions on them and where I get them, how much I paid for them, how are they set up, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just make a quick video on that. And I'll show you how they come off, and I'll show you how they, um, how I install them and, and everything. They're completely adjustable, and they're portable. That's the best part for me. The only thing I don't like is I still haven't solved. I know I got a couple suggestions, but I still haven't done it because I'm lazy. Is the squeaking, metal to metal. That's what the sound it does. But that's okay. You get used to it after a while. But it still makes a noise and stuff like that. But other than that, I think these are uh, pretty good. So. Alright, so I got them off of eBay. I paid uh, $192 for them. You can get a pair of these used probably for about $78, $80, something like that. But I bought them brand new just just because. And um, so it, to find them, you can search. Um, I think I typed in portable hand controls. Or I first started searching for was handicap controls or hand levers and stuff like that but search portable hand controls and these things should pop up so what makes the good about them is they're completely portable you can just unhook unscrew these uh, wing nuts right here and they come right out so you apply them straight to your brake or anything that's the best thing you can put these on a golf cart on anything I had them on my four-wheeler at one point which I don't have anymore. I sold it. But, um, see, so yeah, they come right off and they install instantly. So, as soon as you put them on, all you gotta do is just put them right inside there and then screw them on. So, let's see if I can do this with the phone and my, with the camera on there. So let me see, I'll put it down like this. Oops. Let me see, can you even see? Yeah, you can see a little bit. All right, so see, you just get behind here has like a little grip, which is used up now. Um, it has like a grip tape there, so you can put behind your, um, you know, so it grips right on to the the pedal. But kind of used that up already. I've taken it out so many times, scratched it off, but it still works. Um, what you want to do is make sure you don't strip the nut because then it won't tighten down as tight as you want it to be. So you just put them down and you just screw it tight see this one over here I actually stripped the nut it basically it was actually just the the plastic part right here this little part and um it stripped it but the the nut is still actually good on the bolt so was, i just needed to tighten down with a tool next time I'll, you know it's easy to replace you can just go to your local hardware store and you can find ask them for where the wing nuts are and you can just put a little wing nut on there these are plastic, that's what makes it really good. It won't hurt your fingers when you tighten them. But, um, yeah, so, that's pretty good. So once you have it nice and tight, you don't want to put it so, so tight that it's going to strip the little plastic covering that has over the nut. And, uh, so, that's good. It's not really going to go anywhere. I've had these on there, and they, uh, that's the first time I took it off in a long time. And the same as for the gas pedal. Now, for the gas pedal, what you got to do is be careful. See the position that I have? It's almost close to the carpet it's pretty close to it so that's what you gotta watch out for when you're installing these things um, when you're putting them on you gotta put them in a certain angle or see the distance that you have between the carpet that you got going on here and your uh, your actual lever because when you press the throttle it might stick to the carpet and you might end up just gassing it over gassing it and, you know if you don't even uh, control in the brake it's just gonna crash or you know you just warm so make sure when you put these on you have them in the right place also in the back of these um, some of them don't fit like you can put it back here I have more space up here 
and um, I actually have more space up here to put it but when you put it in this position you can't press the gas what you're trying to push is is the the, the metal rod that goes behind the pedal so the lower it is the better and it might not squeeze as much so you have to open them up as much as you can and put it as high up as you can like towards the middle so this pretty much is all as much as I could put on there with a nice you know tight grip on it so that's what I did and also up here it's completely adjustable all this you can you can set this to the height that you want it either way up here or way down low you know I usually have it they're about almost even so when you press when you press it they're basically flush with your hand see so this is gas and brakes to push push down um, the actual levers to drive that are installed permanently are I believe uh, down like you twist the knob like this down is gas and to brake or I think to brake you push also I'm not even sure I never driven driven before like that my friend has a pair like that but I haven't I have never driven it so I can't really remember but I like these they're cheaper and um, you know it's the best part is you could take them off you know if you're ever gonna be a designated driver for somebody or you, you know if you just want to drive your you know your partner around your girlfriend boyfriend whatever you know it's cool you can flip you know and take them out and put them in anybody's car so that's the best part about it so um yeah type in uh portable hand controls and on ebay and it should pop up you know so all right guys um i think that's all i can give right now of me in my uh transferring video and complete detail on my driving levers if you got any questions or I did things too fast or something like that, you didn't catch on to it, let me know. And uh, I guess I'll make another video or something like that, you know. I just wanted to make this video really quick. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and everything. Uh, shout out to Tim, a good friend of mine, helped me out with a lot of things. And uh, welcome home skateboards, this is my crew right here. And uh, all the sponsors, my box designs when I get my new chair coming up soon. Thanks for everybody's help. Uh, let me know, alright guys? Uh, yeah, it's sunny, so I had to wear my shades today. You can't see my pretty green eyes, so. <laughs> alright guys, take care, alright?